On this episode, we take you backstage with one of the most anticipated films of the year, Christopher Nolan's Tenet. It is so, oh, it's so great to see you again. How are you doing? I'm really good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing good, despite, you know, everything else that's going on in this world. We have films like this, though, to distract us. I mean, this is like an event. I've seen it. People said, Dave, what's it like? I said, the only thing I'm going to say is this is not like going to a movie. This is like going to an event. So thank you uh, for your contribution to making this happen. You're so welcome. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. What was your first wow moment? Or maybe even not your first, but during, while you were filming, was it looking around at the sets? Was it seeing the rest of the cast? When did you go like, wow, this is massive? You know what? Probably reading the script. The first time I opened that script, I thought, how do we do this? How does somebody put this on screen? Every piece, every morsel of this is is so ambitious. And then I think it was just incremental wow. Like the, I, even the first time you've just made me thought, even the first time I sat in a rehearsal room with Ken and Rob and JD and Chris and, and the five of us were reading through things and rehearsing things, that was sort of like very surreal for me to be there. Um, and to be given the task of playing that role in his film was, you know, a huge kind of gift as an actor really. And then, and then there's multiple wow moments. The first time we stepped onto a set, the first time I, I shot something with Ken. And then it's, it's Nolan, you know? So like, for instance, when he ran a plane into a building, that was a big wow moment. JD and Rob and I were, were standing on the tarmac with these big like puffer jackets over our costume. It was like three in the morning. And it wasn't until the plane started moving that I truly believed we were about to shoot that in real time because you just you get used to things being on green screen these days and and chris doesn't do anything by halves even describing and knowing that i've seen the movie i'm getting goosebumps just by what you're describing because this is a movie you have to see over and over again okay uh, i've got about another minute and i've been dying to ask you this question the first thing that you are going to do when life gets back to normal what is it going to be i'm gonna hug I'm going to hug everybody and I'm going to hug my family. I'm just, I just, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and see them and hug them. What is most different than anything else that you've ever worked on? I think it's, I think it's the scale. I think it's the scope of it. It's the, it's the reality of having everything you see on screen actually in front of you. Like the water is really underneath you, you're in the car going backwards, the fire is raining from the sky. That is just, nobody shoots film like that on film. And I think that just the grittiness of it, like the muscularity of it is really unique to Nolan.